Admit old Rudy tried to sneak one by them. Let's see if he can do it again. Oops. Hello, who's that? Wonder who that is. I never saw him before, man. Where'd he come from? Where to go, man? Strike a man. Wheeler, Wheeler, this is Spanish Hat. Come on in, Wheeler. This is Wheeler. How you doing, Hat? Just fine, just fine. Say, uh, I'm gonna be up in your part of the state next week. Uh, maybe I'll drop in on you. After two years on the radio, it's high time we meet in person. Um, I'd like to, Hat, but we just moved into the neighborhood, and I'm pretty busy getting to know my way around. Maybe we can do it another time. Hey, should we yeah. go over and talk to him? Yeah, what do we say? Hey, well, Man, you don't know. know. Well, it's time for the Brown Hornet. I'll go see if he wants to watch with us. We're going down to our clubhouse and watch the Brown Hornet. You want to come with us? No, I don't think so. I better get home and help my folks and pack. Well, maybe another time. Maybe. Says he can't come. Says he's got to help his folks. I had the feeling he just didn't want to come. Maybe I said something wrong. Looks like the kids don't quite know how to handle the newcomer. They want to be friendly and make him feel welcome, but they don't know what they should or shouldn't say about his being in a wheelchair. We'll see what happens later. But now, let's see what the Brown Hornet's up to. It's the Brown Hornet! As we rejoin the Brown Hornet, he and his friends are coming in for a refueling stop on the little-known planet of Podunkia. Yeah, what did that? Them space sodas sure hit the spot. We should take a few extra with us. Good idea, Tweeterbell. Mr. Hornet, you got yourself a problem. Your thruster unit's completely shot. You need a replacement. Do you have one for sale? We'll have to check in the junkyard. It's around back. Wow! 
look at that! Yeah, what is that? <laughs> ah, I think you want your soda. Adam, get his own! Who or what is that? Herbie, he's a pedidexter. The herds of them on this here planet. I keep him around as a sort of pet. He's fun to watch. You want this? <laughs> All right, you know what to do. <laughs> I wouldn't give him any more, you'll spoil him. Let's go check for that thruster unit. That sometimes just tears off. Yeah, you sure got a nutty looking dog, mister. Dog? I don't have a dog. Move, yay! Is there any way out of this? Those moons eat anything they can catch. I sure wish Herbie hadn't taken off. Pedidexter's about the only creatures on the planet that can handle moves. You must be kidding. They don't even have arms to fight with. Tweeter, do you still have those extra space sodas? <laughs> Quickly, we must start uncapping. That's the last soda. I sure hope Herbie heard. Look, he did. He's cut the moves off from us. I never seen anyone dig like that. Wait, no! They're after him! Don't worry about Herbie. <laughs> hmm, did you see that? And I thought he couldn't do anything against them moves. It just goes to show you that some people can do a lot more than you think they can. I wish we could have taken Herbie with us. He sure helped us when we needed it. Uh, speaking of help, there's something fishy going on out there. It's a school of flying space flounders. They're coming right at us. Will our daring heroes survive their latest dangerous threat? If so, how? Tune in next time for another exciting episode of The Brown Hornet! Oh, man! Man, I don't see it! How about that, Herbie? I mean, he might not have any arms, but he sure gave the Brown Hornet a hand. It's like the Hornet said, you'd be surprised what some people are able to do, especially when they seem a little different. And that's a good thing to remember, so why don't you think about it? See you soon. And we'll find out what's happening with Wheeler. class member this morning. His name is Chewy Reyes and he's just moved into the neighborhood. I know you'll welcome him warmly and give him any help you can. 
Yes, Chewy, is there something you wish to say to the class? Just call me Wheeler, and I won't be needing any help. Breaker, breaker. Come in, Wheeler. Thank you for sharing that with us, Chewy. We'll all keep it in mind. I'll ask you to help us by not using your radio in class. Well, now, old Wheeler's kind of independent, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Probably a little upset because people are always staring at him, and I can understand that, can't you? Well, class is over now. Let's see what's happening. What do we do? Hey, 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 let's ask him to play. Ask him to play? Are you kidding? He's in a wheelchair. Well, I'm going to ask him. We can practice for the game some other time. You want to play with us for a while? We were just practicing for our game with the Tigers next week, but we can do that tomorrow. Nah, you go ahead with your practice. Looks like you need it. lucky that's all I don't know look to me as if he knew what he was doing I wonder how Wheeler manages to get around turns without crashing I'd ask him if he were a little more friendly he doesn't want to be friends how many times have you tried to talk to him already fat Albert I'm not counting, but I'm going to keep right on trying. Well, here's your chance! Huh? Hi, Wheeler. Come on in! We're playing checkers, and Rudy's just about to lose! Come on in. I don't think I can get up those steps. We'll give you all the help you need. If I need any help, I'll ask for it. And so far, I haven't needed any. The one thing you've got to say about Fat Albert, he doesn't discourage easily. A lot of people would say, okay, Wheeler, you don't want to be friendly, then neither do I. But our friend Fat Albert has a tenacious streak in him. Tenacious. You know what that means? It's a good word, and, and it's a good thing to be. It means holding on, sticking to it. In other words, not giving up. Kind of like me and throwing this basketball. I mean, I am going to be tenacious. And if you'll excuse me, I think I'd like to practice this alone. I'll see you in a minute. We gotta get some practices in if we're gonna beat those tigers next week. They're really good. Well, we won't get any practice today. Miss Wilkins having tryouts for the track team. I'm going out for the team. Track is my best sport. Huh. We'll see about that. I'm going out for the team, too. You ready? Come on, I'll drive you to school. Well, what's the matter? Not working out the way you thought it would? Got some more problems you hadn't planned on? Sort of. The kids are all friendly, but they treat me different. Always trying to help me do things I can do for myself. You are different to them, Chewy. It's not like the other school where everyone had a handicap of one sort or another. You want to change your mind and transfer back? No. I'm going to stick it out. I've got to be able to make it in the world the way it is, not the way I want it to be. Kind of looks like the kids and Wheeler want the same thing, but don't quite know how to go about it. Might help if they could just get together and talk about it. Let's see what happens.
What kind of athletic program did you guys have at your other school, Wheeler? What were your favorite events? Track and basketball, mainly. Track and basketball? Were they set up the same way as ours are? <laughs> well, we didn't have pole vaulting and high hurdles in our track program. How about the running events? How did you manage them? Same as anybody else. Wheelchair times are almost as good as regular times. Sometimes, at least. All right, boys and girls, time for the track team tryouts. Miss Walker, did you know that Will, I mean, Chewy, was on the track team at his other school? No, I didn't know that. He told me so himself. All right, who wants to try out for the 100-yard dash? I'll try out for it. Me, too. There's no way you can beat me. Okay, we have two people for the dash. Anybody else? How about you, Chewie? Wheeler, is Miss Wooker kidding? Well, I don't know. I guess, maybe. All right, then that's settled. Now get on your marks and take off when you hear the whistle. Wheeler, go! I can't believe I saw what I just saw. What else can you do? I play a little basketball. Basketball? How little? I was the captain of our team. Maybe you could come to our practice and show us a few moves. We need all the help we can get. We're playing the Tigers in a few days, and they're good. Really good. Now, oh, Fat Albert's discovery that Wheeler was a member of the track team at the other school smoothed the path nicely. Can't get over that Wheeler. Hmm. Maybe I can get him to show me how to balance a basketball on my finger, but I'm still tenacious. <laughs> I bet he won't show up. Sure he will. He said he would. I still don't think he can play basketball. You didn't think he could outwill you in the race, either. There he is now. I told you he'd show up here. Come on in. Can't. Why not? Can't get up the steps. Think you could use a little help? I thought you'd never ask. Were you kidding when you told us that you could play basketball? No, I really can. There have to be a few minor rule changes, though. Oh, oh sure, sure, man! Tell us what they are! What are they, huh? well, We can find out when we get to the playground. Come on, we'll take a shortcut through the park. Tell us about the rule changes. Not too many, really. I need someone to stand in for me on the jump-offs and no penalties for traveling. Is that all? Yeah, I guess that's about it. Hey, 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 let's get on the way. Wheeler, you can be on Rudy's team. He needs all the help he can get. Nice move, Bill. Wheeler's open. Watch his hook shot.
I didn't see all that with my eyes. I wouldn't believe it. Is there anything at all you need help with? Yeah, there is something you can do for me. What's that? Build a ramp up those clubhouse steps so I can come inside and watch TV with you guys. Would this afternoon be too soon? Wheeler, Wheeler, this is Spanish Hat. Come on in, Wheeler. This is Wheeler, Hat. This is Wheeler. Can't talk with you right now. I'm busy with some new friends. Stand far on that, Wheeler, and I'm still looking forward to meeting you. Me too, Hat. Anytime you say. Talk to you later. I guess sooner or later everybody needs a little help, but sometimes too much is worse than none at all. And by the way, did I show you what Wheeler taught me? Hmm? It's not too bad, not too good, but I'll see you next time, and it may be better, because I'm tenacious. Still have the fingers. <laughs>